Howdy, y'all. Hi, guys. It's Angela. And Ryan. From RNA Music. That's right. Uh, we both have our RNA Music t-shirts on. We're so, so good. So mm -hmm. excited. Mm -hmm. Your favorite mom and pop guitar shop deep in the heart of Texas, her to dirt to dirt mm -hmm. <laughs> where we teach guitar lessons to kids and piano and voice and all that stuff. Yeah. All right. And, and adults. And adults. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll get to that. Oh, we'll get to oh, that oh, in oh, one of these questions oh, right up in here. Sure. Uh, we're going to answer your questions. It's Ask Our Day Time where we answer all y'all's questions all up in here about all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff. Yep. As you will see very shortly. So cool. Let's get to it. Yeah, right on. Welcome to another episode of Ask RNA. I don't even know what number this is. Like number one million five hundred thousand. Something. I don't know. It's a lot. A lot. One of these days, I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is where we answer questions from you guys and gals out there. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing. Please yes. consider picking up an RNA Music Swaggity Swag T-shirt. Mm -hmm. There's a link in the description down there. You can go to our Teespring store if you want to support. Keeping the music alive for kids in East Texas mm -hmm. and adults. Mm -hmm. But uh, welcome to our channel. We're gonna answer some questions. First question: okay. Jack the Dynamite. I don't know who Jack the Dynamite is. He's mm -hmm. a new one. He says hello. I see you guys are guitar people. Can you find what guitar the main lead singer guitar band Dirty Ghost? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think he's asking what guitar does the lead guitar singer in Dirty Ghost. What kind of guitar do they play? <clears throat> Sounds good. So, quick, I'll take that. quick Google search for Dirty Ghost Band revealed mm -hmm. there is a band named Dirty Ghost. Yes. Uh, I found, they didn't wash the sheet. Yeah, they were like nasty guys. Not the band Ghost. Yeah. But Dirty Ghost. And <laughs> they're like a punk rock band, I guess, out of California or something. Mm hmm. I don't know, never heard of them. They got about Paul five. Paul would probably know who they are. Paul probably would know who they are. He's like, oh yeah, Dirty Ghost. Oh Been yeah, I've, long got, time. I've got mm -hmm. their CD. Y'all don't know anything. Yeah, they're, they're like, uh, oh, not sponsored. Mm -hmm. Dairy Palace, Yet. sorry. <laughs> Yet. We are friends with the owners of Dairy Palace. I know. Palace. Mr. Wise. Mr. Wise. Mm -hmm. Um, What was I saying? Dirty Ghost. Dirty Ghost. Coast they got Coast. like 5,000 followers on their Facebook page. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a Fender Telecaster. So just scrolled down through some photos. I'm like, oh, she must be the lead singer, guitarist. Mm -hmm. Fender I'll Telecaster. Check them out. I always like it when the ladies lead. <clears throat> when the ladies are in the band. Mm -hmm. You know, now I, they're, they're, um, oh man, I forgot the name of the other band I was just thinking of. <laughs> I was like, they're probably no Dolly Rots. Mm -hmm. Dolly Rots with the lead bassist female singer but uh, right but yeah so jack she plays a fender telecaster there you go <laughs> there you go man all right next question jim hyde hashtag cabin in the sky what, what? yeah did y'all all go watch that movie last week cabin in did the you sky see it? did you watch it let me know jim says like what it. is the oldest beginner guitar student that you have taught and was he or she successful Mm -hmm. uh, well, we've talked about our uh, most mature mm -hmm. guitar student, and that was Mr. John McChristy. Big Bad John. Big Bad John. Mm -hmm. John was awesome. John was 78 <laughs> when he decided he wanted to learn to play the guitar. Was that 78? Yeah, 78. Mm -hmm. Brand new, never played an instrument of any kind in his no. life, ever. Mm -mm. And, uh, yeah, he, he took lessons for a little bit. I would say he was successful because his, his goal was clearly defined. He, right. he wanted to learn just to play some basic, like old school Southern gospel songs to play at his church. So, you know, a lot of just basic G, C, D, you know, E minor, F, C, A minor, G chords, you know, basic stuff. So he, he was able to learn his sort of basic cowboy chords and yep. some strumming patterns mm -hmm. and that took him through some of that stuff. And he even had a couple of voice lessons, didn't he? Yes, he did. That's right, because he wanted to, you know, be able to play and sing some basic stuff. And it was really fun. Yeah, he was a great guy. I really enjoyed. He is a great guy. I still see him around town. Yes. <laughs> Not was. He's like mm -hmm. eighty something now. Yeah. Trucking around like a boss. But um, he ended up stopping lessons because his wife had a lot of medical stuff. Oh, and so they were, Yeah, and he was constantly taking her to doctors in Dallas two, yeah. three times a week, and 
you know, physical therapy and all kinds of stuff. So it, it got to be where he just, he, didn't, he was taking care of family. <laughs> At 78 or 79, he was like, I'm taking care of my family. You know. <laughs> gotta, get, gotta get stuff done. Yeah. So, but he took lessons for, I don't know, not a year. Almost. Almost a year. Almost a year. Like 10 months, something like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And he had a good time. So, he's our he's our one we use. We will ask him, am I too old to take guitar lessons? Like, how old are Let you? Let me tell you about Mr. John. 60. Well, John was 78 when he started. So, mm -hmm. you're never too old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. And he had a great work ethic. I will tell you that. Of course, that. in John years, he was probably like 52. Yeah. Yeah, he was a pretty... He's pretty much a stud at 78. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah. I, I would say he's successful because he mm -hmm. could be, you know, clearly clearly define what he wanted to do. He didn't want to play Thank a bunch you. of dream theater songs. Unfortunately. <laughs> or Led Zeppelin or anything like that. He wanted mm -hmm. to play some other stuff. And yeah. We were able to do that. So there you go, Jim. Right. You're never, never too old. Never. Next question. Tracy Johnson. What do you think of people taking lessons even though most would think they don't need to? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, what bass players are your favorites? Mine is Getty Lee, James Jamerson, Cliff Burton, Billy Sheehan. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, have you had a student who after a few lessons thought they knew more than you and proceeded to make you regret you taught them at all? How did you deal with that situation? I think he has some issues with this situation. I think this has happened. I think, <laughs> I think this is a personal question. <laughs> I think this has happened to Tracy. I know. think it might have happened to you. All right. So first question was, what do you think of people taking lessons even mm -hmm. though most would think they don't need to? <clears throat> I, was a little yes. the face. I was a little unsure of that. It's like, are you, are you talking about the people taking lessons think they don't need to? Or people in general think people don't need to take lessons? I think it's general. In general. Because mm -hmm. the people who are taking lessons obviously think they need to take lessons. That's that's why they show up. People mm -hmm. sign up for lessons because they want to do something that they can't. But I get you. Like we have a lot of people that come into the store that'll say, well, "I'm self-taught. I yeah, taught so. myself to play guitar in like one year, yeah. and I was amazing." Don't make them sound like they're stupid. <laughs> well, some of them are. <laughs> Don't say that. Some some people are dumb. Not everybody. I know some people oh who are, gosh. you know, and seen. <laughs> Um, so I think that when it comes to people that will say stuff like that and then they'll play or they'll come and sit down and they'll, you know, hook up, you know, Oh, can I play on this? I'm like, yeah, sure. Go ahead for it. Go for it. And you know, I'm self, I'm self-taught. I'm like, Oh, awesome. That's, that's just great. That's, that's really good. And then they sit down and play and obviously they need to take lessons. You've seen the wedding singer, right? Yes. <laughs> no lessons. Thank you very much, Dad. <laughs> um, okay. Self-taught. Uh, but I think for the most part, um, we encourage, and when people say stuff like that, we will, you know, or when people say, I've never been taught, I've only played by ear, but I would like to learn chords, or I'd like to learn some theory, or I'd like to learn a song and learn it the right way because... It's been becoming, it's becoming frustrating. Mm -hmm. So there, you know, I think that we encourage people to at least take one lesson where you, we can kind of see, or Ryan especially can kind of see, where are you? Or, and then encourage them as like, oh yeah, no, you got it. This is just, maybe you should just do this. Or mm -hmm. this is what's tripping you up. Um, and that's usually about it. So I think that it, it goes kind of, you know, you have to weigh out the situation. I think there's a lot of people that probably should take lessons or have take lessons from somebody because it just helps having a some feedback mm -hmm. on what you're doing, wrong or right, or, you know, and even encouragement. Oh, yeah, no, you're doing, actually, you're doing really great. That's awesome. Or here, this is will actually help you a little bit better to reach those chords, or this is the easier shortcut. You learned it this way because this is what most books teach, but this is actually a better way of shortcut of um, getting from each chord or whatever it is. And um, I think everybody needs a little bit of encouragement anyways, or guidance. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that, yeah, most I think a lot of people should probably <clears throat> take a lessons, at least one lesson just to get some feedback. Yeah, well, everybody hits a brick wall eventually. Oh yeah, and that's what happens. What what we get sometimes is people who who can play, like they know some basic stuff, or mm -hmm. they they like well, I've been playing for however many years, but I don't know how to do this. 
Right. I never learned any leads. I don't know how to solo. I don't know how to make up stuff. And right, right, sure, sure. And like, I've tried this, I've tried this, I've tried this, and like, I, I just don't get it. So maybe I need some lessons. Okay, great. Because you know? mm -hmm. we all hit, we all hit a brick wall. Yeah. I mean, you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> and sometimes you can't always figure things out. And that's where you've like, you maybe had a chance. Like, well, I didn't really know what this was, but I figured it out. Okay, mm -hmm. great. And then you get some other things that might be a little bit more complex or a little bit. Well, you're just missing a few pieces of the puzzle. And so <clears throat> I think it's 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 never a, a bad idea to take lessons. Yeah. No matter what level you're at. There, there are guys out there who are like phenomenal, and girls, phenomenal musicians mm -hmm. who will still take voice lessons. Mm -hmm. Or uh, I said voice lessons. I was, I was thinking of these amazing platinum selling singers who still go they to voice coaches. coaches. Mm -hmm. They'll go to voice coach. For Natalie Grant has a, vo a voice coach. So she takes on long tours with her so that she can get like it's just like having a workout coach you know someone yeah. there that can say okay i see that you're getting a little fatigued let's go ahead and do some push-ups or let's do this and i can see where you're i can see from outside in because whenever whenever you're in it sometimes you don't see it you know as much as somebody watching you will see or hear what needs to be changed or um improved upon Mm -hmm. yeah there you go so i mean there are pros out there who still mm -hmm. take lessons from time to time mm -hmm. even while they're giving lessons they mm -hmm. will also go take lessons from other people in maybe areas that they're weak in oh, or isn't their area right. of expertise so you know i i think i think it's a good a good thing mm -hmm. yeah. you know if, if you want to and if you want to learn more, you can always learn more. And if you don't want to, that, that's okay, too. And There's it was nothing wrong with being where you're at and being happy with where you are. And like, hey, mm -hmm. I don't need to learn anything else. I'm good where I am at. Right. That's okay, too. If that's, if that's yeah. you and you're happy and satisfied. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think that answered that question. I don't know. Yeah. I think that's good. <laughs> now, what bass players are our favorites? Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, we've mm -hmm. mentioned that. I, I, like, I like the bitter bass man. I'm He's all right. I'm a fan. Nicholas Lolly plays a lot of notes uh, our son Nicholas I'm a big fan of Nicholas um, mm -hmm. as far as like you know big name popular bass I players know, I have no idea uh, I always liked Rex from Pantera yeah all I know honestly that I could honestly name are um, Sting and Michael Trujillo is that how you say his no. name? Is he not a bass player? Robert. Trudeau. Robert. Yeah. Michael. Who's Michael? I don't know. Who's I thought Michael you called Trudeau? him Michael one time. No. Oh. I did not. No, not you. I thought Sharon called him Michael one time. Who? Sharon Osborne. Oh, I was like, what are you talking did about? Didn't he play for Ozzy? He did at one point, oh. yes. There you go. <laughs> Sharon had his ring, his ring, his name wrong. Oh, uh, Robert Trujillo. Yes, those are, the the only, those are the only ones that I can, like, in my mind, that pop up in my mind. We were just talking about Getty Lee from Rush. Okay, yeah. Earlier. You don't think of him. You're like, eh, the singer from Rush. <laughs> he plays bass. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't know. I like the John Paul Jones of the Led Zeppelin. Sure. I'm a fan. Yeah. Uh, I like Geezer Butler from Black Sabbath. This is Black Sabbath, Led Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. Great bass players. Mm -hmm. um, Cliff Burton was great. Mm -hmm. he, he had some great stuff. See, when you As name them, I'm man. like, oh, yeah, yeah. I know, I know who you're talking about. Um, yeah. Mostly rock guys. I mean, that, there are, you know, obviously dudes out there like Victor Wooten, who's like mm -hmm. ridiculous. And, and Billy Sheehan is, is awesome. Danny Bonaducci. <laughs> Danny Bonaducci. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> ridiculous on the bass. You know. It's just all over the place. He's just... <laughs> the, guy, the guy in ACDC, whatever his name is, he goes... Mm -hmm. doon, 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 the one note. Yes. I don't even know his name. Janice from... <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> From Friends? Uh, no. It was a Muppet. She was the, oh. the Muppet in the band. She was a, oh, she's yeah. a bass player. She was pretty cool. <laughs> she's up there in the top ten. For sure. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, that's enough talk about bassness. Um, 
Last but not least, have you had a student who after a few lessons thought they knew more than you and proceeded to make you regret <laughs> you taught them at all? How did you deal with that? Um, I don't think I've had one that really, after a few lessons, thought they knew more than me. Mm -hmm. I've had a few who, who weren't listening before. Like It's yeah. mostly younger kids, you know, 10, 11, 12 year olds yeah. who are sort of like... We've yeah. had customers come in that way. I, yeah, I've had customers come in and say yeah. some stuff that I'm like, you don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. Remember that kid who always thought he was better than Carlos Santana? <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> yes. Every. Oh my like, gosh. Like every other day he would come in. This is like when we first opened, like 10 years ago. Yeah. He would come in. Young, like, young kid. Good, nice kid. Sweet kid. You know, worked at Walmart. <laughs> we come in and we'd like play and like shred and do some real sloppy sweep picking. Yeah. Know, like, fast. Blah, 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 blah. like he was kind of trying to shred, you know. Mm -hmm. and, sweet, uh, sweet kid though. Yeah, he, he, he very much overestimated his abilities. Oh my gosh. But just because like. he was faster and could play some little bit harder things than the other kids around him. So they were all like, you're amazing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I think we had a poster or something with Carlos Santana on the wall. He's like, I'm better than Carlos Santana. Carlos can't do sweeps. You know, or whatever he was saying. I was like, yeah, I was like, you think what? Carlos, <laughs> you think Carlos cares that some snot nosed kid in East Texas thinks he's better than him? Oh, Carlos don't. As care. he does like snow angels and all his money, all his money <laughs> and like, you know platinum <laughs> records and <laughs> diving in like Carl Scrooge McDuck. Carlos don't care. Carlos don't care. <laughs> Carlos. Owns Carlos Santana island. don't care. And as a 20-year-old wife, he does yeah, not Carlos care. is not worried about mm -mm. what you think of his guitar playing, son. <laughs> and the thing was, the kid was, he wasn't very, like he could, he was playing marginally technical stuff, but he wasn't doing it well. Clean. It wasn't clean. He wasn't executing it clean. It's like you can play hard things sloppy. Mm -hmm. and that, that, but It sounds like you're doing something good. Yeah, with enough distortion and gain. With, and like, when you're around the right audience of ignorant people, when it, you know, ignorant musically, and musically ignorant people. If you're playing around them, they're like, oh, what? That was awesome. But people who have even marginal understanding of music, you're just kind of like, oh, All right. that okay. Yeah. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> he, didn't good have any, he didn't have a teacher to tell him like, oh, no, 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 do that again. That was sloppy. <laughs> what? That was great. No, no, no that was, yeah. let's do it with the metronome. Let's see how clean you are. Well, I had a recent yeah. student that was kind of like that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He was, like, wanting to show off more than he wanted to learn and thought he knew oh, more than what yeah, he was yeah. learning in each lesson. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like, hmm, I'll see where that pride gets you yeah. later on in life. <laughs> yeah. I've, I mean, I've I hope you hold on tight to your talent. I really do, because he was talented. But Be Beginners was... don't usually do, aren't so much like that, who they're, like, absolute beginners who've never right. done anything. It's people who've sort of played for a while, and they yeah. kind of, like... I can already play my favorite country song. Or... Yeah, and have some like, you know, like a touch of talent. Oh, yeah, you know, a little even bit. If just like a touch. Because if they can hear it and kind of execute it in some kind of way where yeah. they feel like, look what I've done, then those are usually, that's a dangerous combination with yeah. even vocalists. Like, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm like, yeah, but see, here's the thing. <laughs> the people who you sing in front of love you. Your grandmother thinks you're amazing. I don't. So <laughs> let me tell you how much. Your grandma's not going to tell that you that vocal does not sound well. Was hot garbage. Right. She's exactly. going to oh baby, I love you so much. You're amazing. Exactly. You should audition for The Voice. Yes, you should go. <laughs> I'll drive you to America's Got Talent. Yeah, I I think like, I've only had one or two, not in a long time, but mm -hmm. I, I do I do these things like like one hour. I call them uh, tune up lessons. You know, if mm -hmm. I have someone who's like they've been playing for ten years and they know they're all their open cowboy chords and they can know a few songs but you know they're not a beginner beginner like right. I've never touched a guitar but they're like played a little bit right i've only had i've had one or two of them come in as like hey I, I know how to do this this and this you know i know all this stuff and i've studied this but you know i need help with it i'm like okay great right i think i've maybe only had one in 10 years that really came in just really full of themselves yeah and like like i know i'm like oh cool well, do you know how to play this? And I'll say, well, uh, cool. Play me a play me a A minor scale. Right. Oh. Uh, like, no, no, no. That that's a pentatonic scale. Play play the the actual A minor scale. Mm -hmm. 
okay, play me, play me a B minor. Mm-hmm. And they're like, uh... Right. I, 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 I'm like, oh, I, I thought you knew a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So we need to we need to put that on the list. You don't know that. All right, cool. Play me a, a C sharp minor seven chord. Right. And they're like, mm-hmm. uh, I, I don't know. So you just ask them questions and figure out like, where are you? Oh, you don't. You don't know that. Okay, you cool. Don't know well, where so you I'm are. making a list of all the things they don't know, and then they're generally like, oh, I, I thought I knew. So you were telling GPS is say <laughs> rerouting, rerouting, yeah. <laughs> rerouting. Um, <clears throat> and not not in a jerky way, but kind of like, all right. If you know everything, I'm not. I'm confused why you're here. But let's right. find out what you really know. I'm gonna give you a little litmus test, and then yeah. like, you can figure out real quick. I get that with vocalists all the time. Yeah, that's a lot more common with singers. They just want to take, especially the ages between 11 and 16 age, um, when their mom brings them in. They have a stage mom, and they want to take lessons. But really, they just want to sing, and me go. Oh my gosh, you are so amazing. And as soon as I don't say that and I tell them the list of things that they need to work on, pitch, range, volume, control, you know, breathing, posture, everything, and go pop their, pop their little bubble, then it's they don't come back. And I'm like, see, I'm not here. Yeah, yeah. I thought you, you literally were- set your ch- child down in front of Simon Cowell. And expected a bravo. And it's not going to happen. Because I'm a teacher. Yeah. I'm here to help you with your shortcomings. Right. Do you have to acknowledge that you have them in order for us to Mm -hmm. overcome them? Yes. We can overcome them, but you have to understand what they are. And everybody's are different. It's different levels. Mm -hmm. And it might not be extreme, but there are, there's always, I'm, I'm that way even with myself, that there's always something that I can improve upon every single like always, always. So, and I keep that in mind. Like I know that I need to work on stuff. I know I'm not great a singer. I know that I am, I can always improve my vocal skills. So I take that into lessons, you know, letting them know, I know how it is. I know what the struggle, but you have to listen to the, the teacher. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know why you're here if you don't want to, you know, I know. Okay. That's how we handle it. There you go, Tracy. <laughs> it's always fun. It's always so much fun. It's always fun. interesting. Okay. Next question. Just a fun guitar. New question. Ryan, when playing Iron Man, mm-hmm. I struggle with the slide part at the end of the main riffs, 10th to 9th fret slide. Please show me, brother. <laughs> Angela, my wife, is half Jamaican. Mm-hmm. She occasionally makes West Indies food. Do you I ever... was wondering... What her nationality was from the video. Uh, Puerto posted. Rican. Mm. She's half so Puerto Rican. So we're like Rican. sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. 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 Um, do you ever cook that sort of thing? Or do you have local people who eat that in your part of Texas? It seems the Tex-Mex is quite different. And we do not get that much over this way at all. Hashtag cabin in the sky. Hashtag KTA. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, some excellent questions. Well, I just happen to have a guitar right here. I don't know where, why this is here. It's just magic. Or it's just magically. Do I have a guitar pick? Probably Surely. so. If not, I don't know how I'm gonna do this though. We don't. I don't really have enough room. Um. Okay. Peter. Move, move, move. Eh, eh, eh. Is that good? Interestingly enough. Just don't hit me. <laughs> Chris, just my guitar. I have a couple of students that have been learning Iron Man. I'm yes. so proud of them. Mason and Mason. They're both working yeah. on Iron Man. And Caroline, the bass player. Yes. And so we've been Caroline working on... Caroline and the Masons. Caroline and the Masons. That's the name of their band. And uh, I think what you're talking about is... Uh, I think you're probably playing this on the fifth and fourth string, like a lot of people do. Oh, I'm plugged into an amp. How okay. <laughs> That, I think, is what you're talking about. That. But, am I in tune? I don't think he actually plays it there. Because we had to go find out. Like, uh, If you go watch some live videos of Tony, Iomi, mm-hmm. not, not actual Iron Man, Iron Man, Tony. Right. Tony, Iomi. 
-hmm. He plays it on the sixth and fifth strings where it's really... <laughs> Demonetize. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe that was short enough. We won't get flagged by Black Sabbath for that. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Hopefully not. So he's actually up here, I believe, on the 15th and 14th fret. I think that's what you're asking, but... That's just a little one fret slide. So if you're having trouble with that part, whether you play it... Yeah. Or... It doesn't matter. But what I would do if you're having trouble with that, because it's such a sort, most of the time people will overshoot it. They'll slide down too far on that. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they slide too far. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just do it with one finger. Right? Right, practice it with one finger, go slow. If you can get your, if you can get your first finger to do it mm -hmm. cleanly, <clears throat> getting the third finger or your pinky, however you're power cording that, to fall in line, won't be too hard. So get the first finger to do it. Slowly. And then put the third finger in. So excited. Mm -hmm. Now you know how to play the main riff to Iron Man. But yeah, that is my suggestion on that. I hope that was helpful. Ugh. The answer is almost, almost always go slower. Yeah. Slow it down, which is hard when it's a song that you, you've heard a million times and you're really liking it. Like, I just want to play it. Mm -hmm. Go like half speed. Half speed it. So there you go, just fun guitar. Uh, Angela, do you ever cook West Indies food? No, <laughs> I don't. Um, not because I wouldn't want to or wouldn't want to try it. I would love to try it. I've never tried it before. I'm not sure if West Indy, Indian is food like Jamaican is like... Food? Is that how you would classify that? The West that? Indies? I, I'm sure I've um, and I'm not sure if it's like Indian food or if it has Randy ever made Randy never cooked for us never did not her, that I remember her older sister dated a guy from Jamaica they were engaged they were engaged that's right he was the breaking shaking quaking breaking chicken breaking quaking Jamaican yeah <laughs> that was that's his it. like his nickname? Res like wrestling name, but it wasn't wrestling. Um, they were like, you know, like the power team when they rip phone books and like, like strong break, guys, like yeah, Urr, bending, and bars, bending and stuff. bars and stuff. That's what he did. Um, but anyway, McClegan. McClegan, Randy McClegan. Yep. That's his name. Um, but no, I have never, never cooked that. My family um, ate mostly white folk food. Um, <laughs> white people food. <laughs> um, the the furthest out that w my mom would ever make was um were literally just collard greens that was the that was the most ethnic thing my mom ever prepared and still does it is a staple every thanksgiving um and i even carry cans of it because i don't want to go through the whole process of cooking it um because i won't eat a giant pot of collards but um i'll buy the seasoned southern seasoned can of it but i have never tried jamaican food i would love to we don't have places like that in east texas um there no. might be if you go to maybe tyler in, maybe in tyler maybe in might. dallas for sure definitely in dallas definitely in dallas there's all kinds of different ethnic foods in um, restaurants in dallas um but but not this way. Um, and I don't really know any Jamaicans or people that would know how to cook Jamaican food. I'll have to ask. I bet Missy probably knows how to cook Jamaican food. I'll ask her. She probably does. Um, but yes, Tex-Mex is easy to make. 
but people somehow to get it wrong. recreate it. You would think so, but if you go north of Texas, maybe north of Oklahoma. Yeah, because they try to do too much synthetic stuff. It's more like, you know, Velveeta E, and you don't put Velveeta. Yeah, and Tex Mex is not the same as like authentic Mexican food. No. Authentic Mexican food, like if you live in Mexico, is not the same thing as Tex Mex. No. No. Tex Mex is its own. It's like hybrid. Southern food with a splash of Mexican food. <laughs> yeah. It's like nothing like. It's a lot like... spicier than true Mexican food. Yeah. Right? Well, they, they like spices. You've been to Mexico. I don't know. I well, we didn't I've have we didn't authentic. have authentic Mexican food in Mexico because there was a bunch of white kids with us, <laughs> and so they <laughs> what they didn't, Racist. and so we had like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and chicken <laughs> nuggets, and we that's literally we were in Mexico, and that's what that's what they made. We got to feed these. We were white driving people. into <laughs> what's the most white like, people thing you can get? Peanut butter put, sandwiches, peanut and butter and jelly, nuggets. and chicken nuggets. That's it right there. Um, <laughs> so we had uh, we were driving down this little town like bumpy road road and everything and and there was this little abuelita in her yard making tortilla handmade tortillas and i was like i want to eat with her like i <laughs> want to go, go can i have dinner with her <laughs> it looks i mean it was just she had this iron tub that like like a drum like a can like a okay 55 gallon drum yes like you would like an industrial drum like probably still had and kerosene she had, in it <laughs> and she had waste. like it was an oven you know, they had hollowed it out and made an oven. And so she was cooking her tortillas on the top of that drum. And she had, I mean, they were everywhere on that thing. It was cool. I was like, oh my gosh. We just had street tacos those, before we I shot this. I bet those taste so good. <laughs> Are street tacos authentic? No. That's That's still Tex-Mex. Yeah. That's still Tex-Mex. To a certain extent. To a certain extent. You know, I think with the, um, the way they cook the meat is authentic. I want to go to... And white cheese, not yeah. cheddar. Yeah. I want to go to uh, Don Bag Daryl's favorite Mexican restaurant oh. in Arlington. Okay. We should do that. Campo Verde, I think. They have rattlesnake tacos there. Okay. Apparently, that was his favorite. Yeah. Like, I've, he has a table. I've had snake. That, that was Dom's table. I'm like, we can go to there? Yeah. Snake, snake tastes pretty good. I don't know that I want to try rattlesnake tacos, but... I, I want to go to that restaurant. I'm like, oh wow, that's snake, alligator. It's it's all good. It's I good guess it at... has. It does. It doesn't taste like chicken. It doesn't. What does it taste like? It just kind of gamey, but gamey it, chicken. Yeah, it's like something wild. It just tastes to me. It just tastes wild, like wild meat. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, snake and alligator kind of take on the taste of whatever it's cooked in to me. Whatever it's killed. Yeah, whatever we, it's... We should buy yes, some rattlesnake like tacos. <laughs> we should get some rattlesnake tacos and bring them back home. Yeah. And then, hey, Paul, I got you this taco. You should try it. And oh, not tell him what cruel. it is. That's cruel. I, I wouldn't... No. That was his idea, not mine. That Paul, was you should try this taco. No. He might actually eat it. What's more... Because he knows it won't harm him. Yeah. It's He's like, like, yes, I defeated my What's enemy. more dominant than like eating the thing that you're afraid of? That's true. I'm I gonna... will never, ever in a million years eat a spider. Okay, now, yeah. That's million, terrible. Why million would you billion. Do that? Well, you just it's not said even made of how meat. How thing... It's made of exoskeleton <laughs> and juice. <laughs> Anyways, Anyways, we got off of that so real anyways. hard and okay. rolled down the hill like Chris Farley. Yeah. Um, but yes, if you ever get a place, so this is what we, I would love to do. I would love to go over, cross the pond, and open like an authentic Tex Mex restaurant. Y'all, I'll make a kill. I don't think they have real beef there, though. Do they? Do you have real beef? I guess they do. I would. Think Are English so. cows the same as Texas cows? Doubt it. But it would still be pretty. We'd good. have imported. They still have like chickens. Imported Texas. They still beef. have food that we eat. It's not like they're like Mars. Y'all got rattlesnakes. Y'all don't have rattlesnakes. No, there's I no don't rattlesnakes, think they have rattlesnakes in England. But we're not going to put that on the menu. No. Or will we? Oh, we <laughs> so no, I haven't. But I would love to try. Yeah. Authentic Tex-Mex is hard to get outside of Texas. Yes. Because we have friends Let who travel all over West and they're Indies like, oh food. my gosh, I tried to get some Tex-Mex in New York. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, would you compare West Indies food to? Is it kind of like um, um, Cuban? You know, like has that flair where there's lots of fresh vegetables and 
you know, special sauces and stuff like that. Special sauce. Um, and chicken and pork. I don't know. I'm trying to think of, because I've had, um, Cuban type food before. I have not. I mostly stick to white people food mm-hmm. and Tex-Mex. I know. He's extremely white, if you could not tell. <laughs> if you haven't noticed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> next question. Thanks, Jess Fun. Good yes. Thank you, Chris. Jesse Barrera with the next question. Have you tried the new veggie burger from Burger King More yet? More food. <laughs> and I always thought Ronnie Millsap had a fantastic sounding voice. Mm-hmm. Have you tried the veggie burger from Burger King? No. <clears throat> no. We don't eat a Burger King. Yeah. I actually like Burger King. I love the frame frame bird hamburgers. Frame, flame broil. <laughs> yes, I like that. Like, cause it tastes like a like a cookout. It tastes like a cookout. Tastes like tastes like a fake cookout. It does taste like a fake cookout, but it's still cookout nonetheless. And I actually loved Burger King burgers. I like Burger King over McDonald's burgers growing up. Period. But. Since we got together 22, 23 years ago, when we started dating until we got married, I have not had a Burger King anything. Mm. Zero. You ain't missing out. <laughs> well, first of all, the Burger King in our town was nasty. Yeah. There is no longer a Burger <laughs> no, King they, in Canton, Texas. They plowed it down. <laughs> there was a Burger King in Canton, Texas. Yes. It was so bad it didn't even stay open. Not even the building. Yeah, they demolished the building. Demolished there's a, what is, what's it there now? It's the, the Panda Express. There's a Panda Express now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where Burger King used to be. <laughs> a nice, pretty <clears throat> building, clean on the slab of Burger King. Yeah. I don't eat Burger King, and I also do not eat veggie burgers. Yes. So. I have had the veggie burger. Well, it was a black bean burger from Dairy Palace, and it was really good. Was it? Was mm-hmm. it made? Was it? It's it was. Beans. It was literally black beans mushed together to look like a burger. And grilled. I don't think I want that. It was good. Was it? Mm-hmm. Did it tastes like beans. No, it tastes like a seasoned burger. Did it? Mm-hmm. Maybe next time you get one, I'll taste yours. Okay. As long as it just has meat, uh, non-meat and cheese on it. Okay. <laughs> You'll have to get a basic burger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I think actually it. Dairy Palace has a veggie burger. We should try it. Mm, you should try. It. Oh, we could do. RNA tasting stuff. Yes. Ola does that. Ola England on his FAQ that he does. We're going to totally take your idea, Ola. By the way, we've been doing FAQs longer than Ola has. So yes. I think he copied us. <laughs> I'm just saying. Way longer than he has. Ola. But he has a new segment called Ola Tasting Poop. And <laughs> does he's like the poop? other day. He, he ta- does it say poop? No, or it, says, it, says, okay. it says the other word. Yes. But we're family friendly. Yes. And he had one where he was tasting root beer. Because his viewers are like, you should try root beer. He's like, never had root beer. And he's like, he's oh, God. He's never had root beer? Yeah. Oh. He's in, I don't have root beer in Sweden, I guess. Oh, that's weird. He hated it. It's the worst thing ever. Oh. And someone's like, yeah, you shouldn't drink A&W. And they sent him a different one. Mm-hmm. He's like, I hate it. He had Dr. Pepper the other day mm-hmm. for the first time. Also hated it. I'm like, I used to love you. And now I still do, but I'm disappointed because. Now I have he, to look away. He hated, I can't, I can't, I can't even. Yes. But Does he have have he has he had iced tea like sweet tea? Because you I don't know, know they do mostly he was, hot tea. He was just in Dallas this past yeah. week for a bunch of Dimebag stuff. He went to eat. That's where I saw it. Like he went to eat at Dimebag's. Oh, that's right. Favorite restaurant. I was like, oh, I've never thought about going there. We only live like an hour and a half away. We could totally go. I don't think we could go to Dime's house though. Like he got to. Yeah, we like. <laughs> Dave Grohl was there. Hi. He was hanging out at Dime's house with Dang it. You know, Rita and Dave Grohl. See, we need to start knowing people. I need to start being better at YouTube <laughs> and, and guitar playing. Um, yeah, so Jesse, no, we have not. Mm-hmm. Anyone else who has opinions on the Burger King veggie burger, feel free to leave it below. <laughs> Next question. Walking Dead 1369, hashtag fire pants. <laughs> hashtag cabin in the sky. What's the worst guitar you have ever played? Mm. For me, it was a Harmony Strat copy back in the late 80s, my first electric guitar. Mm. I was going to grab my first guitar. I still have it. It's oh, it's also a Harmony. I am going to grab it.
It's kind of a tie. This is my harmony guitar. Mm -hmm. Harmony established 1892. Were they? Uh, yeah, this is my first guitar. Mm -hmm. It's it's pretty much a toy, basically. It's mm -hmm. I don't know if you can really call it a real guitar. I did not learn to play on this. I don't really consider it my first guitar, even though technically it is. Um, but it doesn't stay in tune with the dang, and you can't really play it. pretty crappy um, but it's to be fair it's like a little bitty like half size it's basically ukulele like for a little kid <laughs> and it's it's not that great but I have played quite a few other crap guitars mm -hmm. what's the oh first act <laughs> was it you know Walmart used to have those first act guitars that mm -hmm. are basically toys yes. I've had quite a few of those come in from kids they're like hey we need a new string on my guitar it's like, yeah. this isn't a guitar. Mm -mm. Like I said. <laughs> it's kind of... Yeah, they, a <laughs> lot of first act guitars were just like, I don't think this is even really a guitar. You actually like that thing just hurt your soul. You're like, oh my God. I just... I can't, I can't even. Hold on. I can't even. <laughs> this is... There's a thought. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> so, it hurt I, your soul. Yeah, I've, people will bring them in for me to restring them. I'm like, that's a waste of strings, but okay. I will, you know, whatever. So, yeah. First acts, probably. That mm -hmm. harmony is not good. I, I keep it because it's like sort of a sentimental thing. Right. And I'm very sentimental where Angela is not. But, yeah. Mostly some harmonies. And the first act garbage from Walmart. Right. So there you go. You guys tell us what was your worst guitar you ever played. I'd love to hear it. Next question. Walking Dead. Oh, 1369. Yeah, it's the same. Another question from Walking Dead, 1369. Who's in that teeny tiny state, Alaska? Oh, yes. Yeah. So small. Yeah. <laughs> so tiny. So tiny. Just a wee little state. Just Half last size place, in the United like, States. <laughs> like just the last Whatever. one that made it in the door, I guess. You know, mm -hmm. there. <laughs> or was it Hawaii? I don't want to talk about Hawaii. Have you heard Mastodon's cover of Stairway? I liked it. Mm -hmm. I have had Matt, have had, have yeah. heard Mastodon's. Like both ways. It came out whatever day they released it on. It was like vinyl record day or something, and came out and I, yeah, I listened to it then I played it again for Angela while I was printing up all the questions mm -hmm. just to remind me you about know I don't listen to that I know she doesn't right mm -hmm. uh, it was okay mm -hmm. it was all right I, I didn't hate it yeah I didn't dislike it I don't know that I loved it I mean I like Mastodon but I was like I thought they did a good job I but... have no idea <laughs> I think my favorite cover of it though is probably Hearts. Heart did it, yeah. Heart did it like at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or something. And I was like, yeah, that was pretty awesome. In front of, <laughs> in front of you know Jimmy Page, and yeah, John Paul Jones, and they're like, you know, but uh, yeah, it's good. I've heard it. Yeah, if you I haven't have heard a, it, you should go check it out. Just go on. I don't YouTube. listen to Mastodon, so I don't have anything to uh, against anything that they've done before to gauge it off of. Yeah. Like, I'd, I've never, I couldn't tell you a song that they've done, ever. Or to think of it in my wheelhouse of... Oh, so you need, me, you need me to play you some Mastodon songs then? Nope. Okay. Nope. I liked it. <laughs> if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's, it's pretty good, and it's pretty it's pretty authentic to the song. It didn't stray too far. Is it authentic to them? Or did they, you were just like, oh, wow, that was nothing like I... But like they ever do, mm. or they just was it more like an, an honor? Little it's kind of it's very tributey. I okay. mean, it sounds like Mastodon though. I mean, you could tell if you hear it, it's like, oh, that sounds like Mastodon. Okay. You know, like when Guns N' Roses does a cover of something like, oh, it's obviously Guns N' Roses, but like, oh, I like that cover. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't like it better than the original. That's an interesting thing. Like with Metallica and Guns N' Roses, some of their covers I like original than the I like better than the original that they covered. Mm -hmm. 
I don't like this one better than the real stairway, but it, it was good. Mm -hmm. It's good. You yeah. should go check it out. If y'all haven't heard it, just type in Mastodon Stairway to Heaven. You'll find it. So. Cool beans. Cool beans. Cool black bean burgers. Mm -hmm. Last question. L. Desheen. Hashtag Cabin in the Sky. Thank you for your recommendation. Also, I have a question about my shorter scale acoustic guitars, like the Taylor GS Mini. I have one and it kills my fingers. I can barely do chords. I can play my Strat and Taylor T5 for hours. Short scale issue, bronze strings. I have small hands, so I got the Mini GS for help practicing bar chords, but they're impossible for me on that guitar. I went back to my Strat. Mm. Um, probably the issue is probably the string gauge. Mm, yeah. Angela has a guitar that's uh, it's a Washburn. It's right. kind of like a, a mini. Mm -hmm. It's not a half size. It's not it's quite a, parlor. a yeah. It, it's it's about Ish. the same size as a parlor. It's, it's probably similar to the that one. Mm -hmm. And if you put twelves on that thing, it's like too fat. Mm -hmm. You know. So I would suggest, and we, we actually sell these here because we have a lot of students who start on acoustic guitar and their guitars are hard to play. And so we carry some pretty light gauge strings. Right. On an acoustic, you can get a set of 11s quite easily from a lot of places for the acoustic. You can even get 10s. Mm -hmm. So you might even try putting 10s on that guitar. Acoustic 10s, not electric strings. They make they make 10s for acoustic guitar. Right. You know, 80, 20 bronze, you know, 10s. So I would do that. They even, I don't think anybody else does this, but um, Kaiser, you know, Kaiser Capos, mm -hmm. right here in Canton, Texas, Kaiser has their own line of acoustic and electric guitar strings that we sell here. And they have a, a set of nines, acoustic guitar nines, which is crazy light for acoustic yes, guitar. it is. And I think that's actually, did we put nines on yours? Mm -hmm. I think those are probably too thin for yours, maybe. Nope. No? You like them? Yes. It makes it definitely easier to play. Especially so. whenever you know, teaching back to back to back to back and the same thing over and over and over, the repetitiveness of, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, it, it helps during a teaching day. Yeah. So I would, I would probably step down string gauges because mm -hmm. it is shorter scale for sure. Out. But yeah, just try some lighter strings and then maybe take it to a local tech and see it. Maybe if the action is really high. I mean, that could also make it hard if the action is really high, strings yeah. are really far off the fretboard. Yeah. Um, lighter strings will definitely help with that, but, you know, I would maybe try the lighter strings and then, you know, take it to a local tech or luthier and have them see if we can get the action lower or whatever. But mm -hmm. that would be my suggestion. Try some lighter strings. That should definitely help out. Definitely. And there you go. And that's it. Final question. Definitely. definitely. Final question for today's Ask RNA. Ta da! I forgot to tell people this last week, but if you have a question for next week, please leave it below in the comment section and we will try to answer them. Mm -hmm. um, and if you made it this far in this video, you may have figured out by now if you're a regular viewer, we have a secret hashtag of the day. Bam, bam. And the whole point of that is to let us know that you watched this whole stinking thing. For, or you at least thing. listen to it. You know, a lot, a lot of people put their phone somewhere and play a YouTube video like a podcast. I do that. That's cool. So if you listen to the whole thing, uh, leave us a comment with the special hashtag, hashtag of the day, and we'll know that, oh, wow. <laughs> Big Bad John listened to the whole thing. He's a legend. Airy. Legendary. Legendary. All right. So what's the special hashtag of the day going to be? Black bean burger. <laughs> hashtag black bean burger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or hashtag white people food. <laughs> no, hashtag have, white folks. <laughs> hashtag white folks. No, we don't want any supremacists. Has, going no, on. we do not. <laughs> hashtag <laughs> peanut butter and chicken. Ew. <laughs> peanut butter and chicken nuggets. <laughs> no, chicken nuggets. <laughs> hashtag black bean burger. Yes. If you watch this whole thing or listen to the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And that's fine if it wasn't in one sitting, but you completed it over the course of a couple of days. Sure, sure. That's acceptable. You watched the whole thing. So. Uh -huh. Type that out in the comment with your question or with your comment or just as a single thing. Uh -huh. And we'll know that you watched the whole thing. And we really appreciate that. If you guys haven't, go check out our Swaggity Swag store in Teespring boop, boop, description. Boop, boop, that's in the description. Boop, boop. You can check that out. Yep. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. Give us a thumbs up. I think all you people who regularly watch do the thumbs up thing. So thank you. And uh, anything else? 
Did I cover it? I got everything? Nope. All right. I think that's it for this week. Until then, until the next video. Until the next video. Keep the music alive. Don't forget it. The music needs you. And you need the music. And we need to keep it alive for all generations, including the next generation. Yes. And Big John. Yes, Big Bad John. Big Bad John. All right. Thank you guys so much. We will see y'all in the next video. Black Bean Burger. Asta Manana? Asta, maybe, probably not Manana. 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 <laughs> Demonetized. <laughs> 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 no.